you mentioned making a portfolio, and I was just curious, um, when you're making a series of works, do they, how do you feel they relate to each other? How do you feel when you're done? Why do you make a series of them? You like to make series of works, and I'm just curious if you could give us some insight on what you're trying to accomplish there okay, when yeah. you know you're done. I hear you. When do I know I'm done? <laughs> I'm never done. He's never done, that's right. <laughs> I, I make a series usually like that. If I made a portfolio, it's, it's for a very practical reason. It makes a great show so that you can give it to a dealer in a small print dealer, say, and he's got whatever it is, 10 prints, that can make a small exhibition. And it also pleases me to see them, not that I don't think they stand alone, but I think it gives it power, each one, around a room. Um, as far as whether I know when I'm done or not, I, 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 I'm a big boy. I, you know, I'm, I'm a big boy now, and I mean, I made a thousand prints. He tells me, so I'm pretty sure when I can't do any more until the next time I put another plate on top of that. So that, by that I mean I'm probably never done. In the '70s, he was drawing in series, and when I went up to visit him in Putney one time, uh, he intentionally set up the dining room or whatever it was with all around the room, his model Jesse holding a conch shell, one after one after one after the other, and it was an incredible impact. It does have a lot of power. 